Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to ETL QA Labs. My name is Hetu, and in this uh, session, we will look at uh, having clause. In previous session, we have looked at the group by clause, and uh, having clause is really the continuation of the group by clause. So you can say that if you want to use the having clause, you always have to use the group by clause in your query. Otherwise, having clause does not have any meaning, and it cannot be used without the group by uh, you know clause so uh, quick agenda about uh, this complete session what we will look at is we will try to understand what is having clause we will also look at how it is different from the where clause why do we use having clause when we have already the where clause whether the where clause is uh, you know uh, able to fit the purpose uh, uh, what we want to achieve right and uh, if not then uh, having clause and what is how it is used okay and how um, how does it work internally all right and then uh, we will solve a couple of questions guys so these are the questions you see very very important point of view all these questions right so one of the question that is most importantly asked in any of the interviews how do you find the duplicate rows in a table or how do you find only non duplicate rows in a table or how do you find only duplicate employee number from a table or for example for any columns they will say how do you find only duplicate uh, how do you ensure that you know your employee numbers uh, is not accepting the duplicate or it does not have any duplicated data right so these are very much important questions and uh, from data warehousing perspective if you see that we don't want to load the duplicated data in the data warehouse and uh, most of the time database is uh, end up having the duplicated rows okay because it is uh, sourcing the data from the different disparate system and while processing it through etl when it is loaded there are high possibility that the data data coming from two different sources are duplicate data and they are actually uh, loaded in target as a duplicate right so from that perspective also you can think right so this is purely the you know uh, uh, you know uh, session related to having clause and once you underst understand the having clause i think uh, you know uh, you you should be able to write uh, your query very efficiently all right and uh, from interview perspective also these are very important so what we will do is we will cover all these questions okay as part of that so let's uh, start with having clause then so having clause is basically what is it it is similar to where clause okay so why it is uh, important it is basically what where clause does so where clause basically filters out the record right whatever record you want to filter out from the complete set of data right so then we use the where clause similarly if you want to filter out some of the data grouped data right aggregated data then we will use the having clause okay and having clause is always used uh, on the aggregate function only okay it cannot be used on uh, you know um, normal uh, or you say the this uh, what you see the normal columns it can only be used on the aggregated function so what does it mean we will see uh, in the practical session guys but in terms of syntax if you look at it right so where clause is used here and then after that group by clause and having clause and then order by clause so this is the syntax and which is very important some sometime they can also ask what is given that where clause having clause group by order by clause is there in your query which one uh, will be you know written first in sql query right so this is also one of the important question that you should note okay so let's uh, go to you know sql prompt and then we will see that okay so we will see first we'll do a little bit recap from the previous session guys because uh, it will only make sense when we know the group by right so if you have no so other uh, thing uh, guys if you have not watched my previous video about group by and you are not sure about group by then you need to go and watch my previous video and before that also i have make one video on uh, aggregate function so you should watch that also because this is really in continuation with that right so having clause having clause is always working on group by and uh, aggregated function only right so you should understand those two concept and then only this concept is making sense if you are new to sql world right if you do not know 
so and anyways i have cons i have covered so many things in uh, group by in previous session interview questions also it really makes perfect sense if you can go and watch that video and uh, come back to this video all right so but anyway let's start then right so what uh, we will try to see how the where clause work okay so we have uh, 19 rows here so when i say select star from employee it will obviously uh, give you all the rows right but if you want to use where clause we want to filter out let's say for department number 10 uh, sorry department number 106 maybe if you want right I want the data where clause will basically filter the data only for 106 and it will display the data which is related to department number 106 okay you see guys 106 department number data only displayed eight rows only out of 19 rows right so this is how the where clause is used okay and uh, so this is the similar feature that having clause is also supposed to do but then uh, when it comes to aggregate function where clause cannot be used okay so what does it mean I will show you okay so let's see uh, let's try to do one thing let's try to find out the sum of salary okay uh, sum of salary department wise okay so I want to say sum of salary department so guys uh, if you have you you're not sure how this query is working you have to watch my previous video right so see what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out the sum of the salary of all the department okay department wise I want to basically summing uh, the salary from department wise right so and then displaying it okay so when in that case I have to use the group by right so group by uh, DEPT number okay so now it is going for department number 100 total salary is this 101 total salary is this 104 so this is how it is actually so it is basically uh, going and grouping the data based on the department number for all the department number it is going to add the salary for each of the employees and showing it here this is how the group by work function group by function works right now what if I need to um, I need to just uh, get the I, I just need to get the day uh, get the to sum of the salary for uh, maybe department number 100 okay so what I can do guys I can simply use after from clause I have shown you syntax right so from where if you want to use a where clause I have to use here where dpt number equal to maybe 100 all right now this should only give you this particular record rest will be eliminated okay see 100 a department number 100 is only displayed remaining are eliminated because I have used the where clause now uh, other question okay this is uh, pay attention guys this is related to having clause okay so let me just remove it now for now okay so we have displayed uh, the department number and the corresponding sum of the salary for all, all the employee in the particular department right now what if I want to find out Mm, all the employees ah, basically I want to find out the department number and uh, sum of salary who is having total salary less than 50,000 right so you see 100 uh, department number 100 is having 66,000 100 144,000 183,000 similarly all the right so if I if I want to find out which all the departments are having salary less than 50,000 so which will qualify this will qualify and this will qualify so guys how do we find it out right so you might be thinking that you know we can always go and use where clause here and we can just filter out right similarly where sum of salary salary less than 50,000 50, okay 50,000 do you think guys this will work let's try okay sorry I think I have to just put here so it's saying that invalid table uh, sorry I think I have removed it here sorry I have to use here uh, employee also employee okay now see it is saying that group by function is not allowed here so it is saying that 
where clause we have used and we in where clause we have actually used uh, the group by function means uh, aggregate function right the sum mean max average and count these are the aggregate function that we have uh, seen right and this can be only used with the group by okay so now uh, we have used the group by but we are actually trying to filter out right salary which is having less than i mean sum of the salary all the uh, employee salary in that particular department who is having less than 50000 total salary right and then it is saying it is not allowed right so this is the need this is where we need basically the having clause okay guys so let's see how we can use this okay now let's see guys i will just uh, run this query first okay now uh, what we will use is we will so this is where the having clause is used so now here also we are trying to uh, filter the total salary sum of salary i mean basically this particular column right the sum of salary i will use aggregate function sum of salary this is what we have taken in our select statement also right sum of salary less than 50000 guys see if this works okay perfectly it is working right you see 101 and 103 are part of that that we are getting okay similarly if you want to find out who are having more than 50,000 then we should obviously get uh, 83 4 lakhs and the 66 these three records we should get got it so guys this is how the you know uh, having clause is used in group by and uh, where clause uh, cannot be used here because where clause does not work on the aggregate functions for example here we have used the sum all right so i hope this is really making sense and uh, you able to understand the basic concept at least right and now what we will do is we will try to see multiple questions related to that and uh, other thing is guys uh, what we can do is we can also do one thing okay so we can also use along with uh, this right let's say i have a requirement to maybe filter out uh, department number 104 okay 104 i don't want maybe so i can use here dept number because this is not aggregate function this is a normal column right department number so i can just say not equal to 104 in this case what we are trying to do we are actually trying to um, get all the department number whose total salary is more than 50,000 which means this should give all this but at the same time we do not want 104 record so we should actually get 100 and 106 these two records okay let's try you see guys because we are actually filtering out and we are saying department number not equal to 14 means we don't want this particular department number remaining we want okay so this is how you can use in conjunction with having clause so having clause we also we have used we have also used here where clause together okay so i hope you understood this now i think you know uh, i think let's take a question i think uh, this is what i wanted to understand i think uh, it will really make sense if i can Mm, make another video guys i think this video is getting lengthier okay so because there are a lot of things lot of questions that i need to cover actually you see here lot of questions i need to cover and these are very very important question i think i should uh, make one more video and uh, uh, and then you know uh, that will really make sense okay for this question but we can definitely uh, cover this part okay so for this uh, interview questions i will make one separate video and we will cover in this session only maybe another three to four minutes uh, this where clause and having clause okay so guys uh, as i have shown you everything about having clause and where clause by use let's see uh, some differences so where clause is applied to filter on row level that we have seen right whereas having clause is applied to filter on group level okay so having clause where are you wherever you are using you have to use the group group by function only and i mean the the aggregated data or the grouped data okay having clause can only be used along with group by okay that we have seen okay without group by you cannot use the having clause okay so for example if i want to say let's say i just want to say having something like this it will not work because not a single 
group group function it is saying right so having clause is always used on the group uh, aggregated data and having clause uh, is used with aggregate functions okay now mm, okay yes now uh, the third point is where clause cannot contain aggregate function we have seen that right we tried to filter sum of salary in the where clause and uh, it says that you know it is not allowed okay so we have seen already so it says that where clause cannot uh, can't contain any aggregated function ag aggregate function however having clause contains aggregate function yeah so we have seen that in having clause we are always using aggregate function only okay all right guys so this is what i wanted to cover and the last one is the quiz okay so in quiz i want you to answer in my comment box which one is executed first whether having clause or the where clause yeah? so this is the question which one is executed first where or having clause in database engine okay so in how does you know database like for example uh, oracle database right so how does it evaluate so which one is executed first and which one is executed later is it where or having okay so you have to answer this question okay and uh, so i think uh, this is what i wanted to cover and uh, just uh, you know uh, wait for the you know this popular interview questions i think it will take a good amount of time that's why i will cover in the separate session okay guys so for now i think i am done and uh, thank you thank you for watching and one more request guys if you have not subscribed my channel please go and subscribe it um, so that uh, and also hit the notification bell so you will not uh, miss any updates i am continuously uploading the video you know whenever i am getting time so it's uh, very frequent so that you also can um, continue your study or learning right so for now i think uh, this is what i wanted to cover thank you guys thank you for watching until then happy learning bye